you teach people exceptionalism because they go to a particularly a particular type of school, you're gonna you're gonna get people that come out of that feeling like they have no consequences. Are private schools better than public schools? I know that private schools lead to a lot of bullying. I know that public schools, there's bullying as well, but it's for different reasons. And I think that school is something we kind of need to overhaul and reassess for the modern age. Nah, <laughs> nah, fuck private schools. Absolutely not. While there might be a few junkies or young up and coming junkies at, at public schools, I think private school is just a breeding ground for stuck up, cocaine addicted law students. Nah, never been a fan of private school kids, especially those private schools that wear their socks up to their knees. Ridiculous. Oh, I hate that question because I get the, I get the arguments for like, you know, investing in, in public schools, but it's just the like emotion of like, I love private schools. Oh, huge. I had a diverse upbringing, you know, in terms of education. It's it's kind of outrageous the sort of the amount of funding and privilege like private schools get. Yeah, I, I can't say one or the other. I've I've been to a lot of schools, but I gotta say there's good teachers and bad teachers um in every in every aspect of education. Are they better in a sense of having accessibility yes they are but are they better in any sort of like moral sense absolutely not a lot of private schools as well at least a lot of private schools that i know of are same sex which is just so fucked um people who go to same sex schools will all tell you that the experience of that is just so not right i would never recommend same sex schools um i think it's unnatural yeah as someone who went to a public school for the majority of my schooling and then got a scholarship to attend a boarding school in my final two years of school, I do believe that the private school education I received is better quality than what I received in public schools. But I would still probably send my children to a public school unless I was lucky enough to be in a financial position where I could send them to a private school. Like, I myself am not too fast on sending, if I have kids in the future, on the, on sending them to a private school, just because I feel like my education was good, my cousin's education was good, my nieces and nephews' educations are, like, thriving at the moment, and they all went to public school. Hell to the no. I went to public schools. I went to public school primary, and they went to do two different public schools for high school, and they were the best. I had a really great education. I met fabulous people. I had fabulous teachers. And I think, it, I think you know, we should invest more money in public schools because they're public. They're, they're supposed to be for everyone. And I think it's a really good melting pot of people. I think it's a worry that private schools, people who are of a certain socioeconomic background now only want to go to private schools because I think it's so important for people of all walks of life to be able to learn and grow together and school is where that happens. I don't think they're better. I think they get more opportunities and more funding. So people just assume that they're better. Yes, I do think that private schools are better than public schools. I went to a pretty good public school um, and my partner went to a private school. But I just see the benefits of going to a prestigious school. Their alumni is almost cult-like. Definitely helps after school in life, um, especially somewhere small like Adelaide where everyone knows the schools. Those, having those private school connections, I think, is definitely better than public schools. For me, like, I coped better in the independent school when... Um, you know, when all the, like, the, the confrontations were, like, mental and it was, like, mental tricks. I mean, it wasn't great for the mental health, but, you know, in my experience at independent schools, no one wants to fight. They rather torture you mentally. I mean, that's much better than getting your ass beat. Like, me, I feel like I can fight, but apparently I can't. Like, when I hit, the, it doesn't land. So, yeah, controversial, but look, I do believe that independent schools... Uh, have treated me better than the public schools. It's all about the education and the way that the person takes it on. So I'm not saying that um, private schools don't give you advantages because they do, but there are so many other things to take into consideration. You can make the best of a public school education. Um, all of my schooling through the public school system. So I was actually homeschooled until I was 13. There are definitely some horror stories around, but it's probably one of those things that a lot of 
pretty good public schools probably get tarred with a bad brush because there are some terrible public schools out there. And I don't know that all private schools are necessarily all that they're cracked up to be, but there is probably some advantages to going to private school to give students a, a bit of a different experience. But I think if you're in a good public school like I was, it's not a problem. No, absolutely not. When it all comes down to like adulthood, these things shouldn't matter. But unfortunately, be going to a private school ends up mattering, especially in the corporate world, I find, which is incredibly sad and incredibly nihilistic. But like, I have met some absolute like dumb shits from private schools. I've met some absolute stellar people from public schools and vice versa. The amount of people that can kind of fail upwards seems to be more likely to be coming from the private set, from like private schools than public schools. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> um, there's a school in Hobart that calls itself like uh, something like um, the school for exceptional boys or something like that. And I think when you teach people exceptionalism because they go to a particularly a particular type of school, you're gonna you're gonna get people that come out of that feeling like they have no consequences. I got kicked out of school when I was 14 and never went back. But throughout primary school and high school, I went to public schools and like academically I excelled. Like I was did all right academically at school. It was just my behaviour was just not there. And from what I've seen and what I've known, like through having friends in the area and that that had gone to private schools as well as public schools, nine times out of ten I'd heard more like intense and fucked up stories about private schools. So I honestly want to say that like public schools here anyway, like where I am seem to be doing a better job than the private schools i think there's qualities so i I went to both a public and a private school so i think there's merit to both i don't know i think in terms of the quality of education i think it's comparable because i think the government does a pretty good job in offering a good baseline level of education but i do think there are invisible social advantages that come with um, being at a private school that's perhaps further entrenches like social difference. I know some great people that went to public schools. I know some great people that went to private schools, but I also know some absolute dicks that went to both. But for sure, there is a very clear division between how schools act um, and the little rivalries happening between them all. Like my sister went to a public school and she's probably smarter than I am. I went to a semi-private Catholic school. So (laughs) I think it just depends on the actual situation, not necessarily whether it's public, private, whatever. I think there's good and bad with public and private. Um, is one better than the other? No, I think there's problems with all of the above. Um, but I think it's important that we sort of recognise what those failings are in each of those systems and try and sort of come up with ways that we can overcome that as best as we can. If you want to achieve when you come from a public school, that's often because you're really hungry and you have to take ownership over yourself in a way that you don't have to in private schools. And I think that the way you have to really be responsible for your own futures in a public school really can help you long-term build the skills you need to succeed in life. No, they're not. I went to a semi-private school and I think school is what you make it. I don't know any different to the schooling system that I grew up with, but I don't see it being better. I think it's almost a bit pretentious in a way, Um, private school culture. Well... I went to a private school. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I learned very much at school. I realized at university that I wasn't really good in like a school environment. If going to a private school couldn't teach me that um, until after I'd left, then I don't think they're really any better than public schools. I think there's an atmosphere where people compete on how much wealth their parents have. And I think for adolescents, that's probably not the best thing for their self-esteem. So I would personally probably send my kids to a public school. No, I had a public school education and I had a great education. I have no evidence to say that private schools are worse or better, but other than the fact that I didn't go to one, uh, and I turned out all right. And I don't think I'll be one of those people that if I ever was silly enough to have children to then send them to, I wouldn't send them to a private school. No, I don't think private schools are better than public schools. I think they're probably close to the same. I think private schools are seen to be better because people have got a bit more money and it gives people more opportunities later in life being part of that private school culture. But I don't definitely don't think the schools are any different. You, you make the most of uh, your schooling life and 
what you do after is that depends on you. It doesn't normally depend on what school you go to.